Well, just awkwardly on the turn, trying to cross over and right away grab that left knee. There was no contact. He just crumpled on the ground. If you've ever had an MCL, inside ligament sprain, you understand what he feels right here. The MCL is, is the anterior cruciate ligament, and basically it's a stabilizing ligament inside the knee joint. Uh, what will happen? Can I maybe show you here in the model? Um, well, this here is a model of the knee joint. Uh, so it's got a big job to do. What it has to do is when the when the lower part or the foot is planted or the tibia here is planted and you're turning on it, it has to prevent excess turn effectively. And what can happen is it can just snap like a rope snaps. The body or the brain picks up on this is not a good thing to be happening and therefore it just collapses the knee. So the usual sequence is running, change of direction, something snaps and then buckle and they end up on the ground. The diagnosis is made more readily nowadays than it would have been in the past. Um, the access to radiology, for example MRI, it's much more available now. Uh, the technology behind the MRI is much, much better. The risk factors for developing anterior cruciate ligament injury, I think, have probably increased. One of these would be um, looking at um, the speed at which people are moving. So if we have somebody who's done an awful lot of work to strengthen their quadriceps muscles through weight training and, and, and general conditioning, that can increase their risk for having a cruciate ligament injury. I think there's some very good research out there at the moment um, looking at injury prevention because obviously prevention is better than cure. Passanen et al in, in, in Sweden initially looked at um, the incidence of ACL injury in uh, female handball players. So Olympic handball is a very popular sport in Scandinavian countries. It involves a lot of twisting and turning. Now it turns out that in field sports and in team sports, women are four to six times more likely to tear their cruciate than men are. So when we, when we land and cut uh, in a male athlete, the activation of quads versus hamstring is protective of the knee, whereas in a woman it's the other way around. And they had a 50% improvement in injury by instituting a very simple warm-up program which was aimed at improving how women jumped and landed and controlled their knee movement. So it sounds extremely simple in the high-tech world in which we live, but this neuromuscular control is actually the key factor in, first of all, avoiding injury, and second of all, avoiding further injury if you've had one. If we Go inside, this is the anterior cruciate ligament here. And even relative to the size of the knee, it's a kind of puny enough ligament. Now, the only problem is once it's torn, and you try and go back playing on it quite often, that because the restriction is gone, instability occurs in terms of rotation. So for an awful lot of people in sport, they won't be able to get back playing without having something done with it. We can replace it usually. And we've gone through a phase in the past where we've uh, worked on um, repairing it, okay. It just didn't work out particularly well. We had to protect the repair and the knees got stiff, etc. What we found is that what works better is what's called doing a, a, an anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction. And a reconstruction is just tech talk effectively for replacing it. And in the good majority of cases, we, we replace it by using a similar structure from around the body. And oddly enough, that's from a tendon. Uh, tendons are more available and they're bigger around the body and they're made of the same collagen as the ligaments are. So we take a portion of a tendon, most commonly either from the uh, patellar tendon or indeed from the hamstring tendons, and we use that as a direct replacement for it. In a way, the, you can lock those new, what now become the new ligament in position uh, in a way that it's good and stable so you can get the patient moving on it straight away. So. It's a surgery, it's an anaesthetic, but the most young and healthy patients, that's not too big a deal. And, um, and then you get a lot of physiotherapy and rehabilitation afterwards to get the strength back up, get the balance right, and, and, and get, get back to sporting activity, which is what most of them desire.